So the first thing which makes a transaction haram is al-gharar wal-jahala. If we enter into the supermarket and we find cartons and there's nothing written on the carton. So if, for example, in the supermarket he has a carton or a box and there's no writing on the box and all it says is there's a phone inside these boxes and in each box is a phone and he says that each box you pay a thousand pounds for the box but you do not know which phone is inside that box it may be an iPhone it may be a Samsung or a Huawei or one of the other phones or maybe one of the older phones and you don't know what's inside that box and neither does he allow you to open the box but you have to pay a thousand pounds sterling for whatever phone is in that box and if the customer says but I want to check and know which phone is inside the box and then he says well it's an iPhone okay but this could be iPhone 6 but if he said no every iPhone in each box it is iPhone 13 and if the customer replies and says but I want to look at the phone so I know which type of iPhone 13 it is, meaning how many cameras, what's the size of it, uh, what's the memory in it. I want to see what the phone is. I want to look inside. And so he says, no, you're not allowed to check which type of iPhone 13 it is. This is haram. So this transaction, it is haram because it contains al-gharr wal-jihala, which is an ambiguity. Or for example, if he says, enter into the section of mobile phones but close your eyes and any phone which you touch you can buy it for 200 pounds and you've closed your eyes this is also haram now uh, if the brother said that we have a store in Manchester in which everything is for one pound so is this halal or ha is this halal or not it's halal why because you are able to enter into the store and you're able to check the details of each uh, merchandise which is being sold wow. and in most cases each piece is a pound or maybe more and sometimes people will say that this mobile phone which is in my pocket you can have it for 200 pounds but you're not allowed to look at the phone and perhaps that phone its value is 200 pounds and perhaps its value is 50 pounds so this is also haram so this is the first type of thing which makes something haram and it is al-gharar wal-jihala meaning an ambiguity and you don't know the details of the thing which you are buying so uh, perhaps he has a number of cars with him like his Mercedes and a BMW and a Porsche and a Toyota and a Peugeot and all of these cars have a different value and he says that I'm going to sell you one of my cars but I'm not going to specify which car it is but you have to buy it for half a million this is also haram and it's haram because it contains gharar, meaning you don't know exactly which car and the details of the car. So whenever there's ambiguity, gharar or jahala in a transaction, then it is haram.